This is a laptop motherboard. Uh, it's the ASUS X756UV. In this video, I'm going to show you using the Unlink NT to program the BIOS as well. The EC chip in here is, is ENCKB9026. So first, let's take a look of the BIOS. The BIOS is here and it is the 8 megabyte flash and I have created a clip like so and we can connect click on First, in the software, we need to create an, a BIOS target for for, the, for this flash. So we go to the new target XML and we select the SPI, which I found uh, 6120 is something we can get template from. So 6120, and this is called X756UV BIOS. And it's SPI, so let's clear it. Clear, 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 clear. And this flash has the one segment of eight megabyte. This will call bio. And then we can click OK. Now we go to the configuration folder. And then we edit this file. Uh, the category. Oh, we don't have any category here. Uh, category model we call other and we can save it so now go here and exit software start the software again and then we call find the x75 bios so now we see this is our bios and uh, let's select the folder we used uh, let me go here this was help me to quickly locate my file. So here is my folder. So now I want to detect and I detect the flash. Uh, this uh, use the F SFDP protocol to auto detect. This is eight meg flash. So let's read the whole flash. And this is the backup of BIOS in the raw data format. Uh, we can double check if this is correct. We can verify one more time. So now we can save this file as backup. So let's see if we can erase properly because this is on the board. And let's see if it's erased properly. It is. Now let's program back. Okay, so here you can see the Unink NT can program the uh, BIOS SPI uh, quite easily. So now we're going to program the EC chip on the board. 
uh, in one of the, my video. Uh, let me find the video here. Here yeah, is the video I show the programming of SPI uh, of a KB922. And one comment says, uh, can we program this on the board? And in this video, I'm going to show how to program the KB uh, EC chip on the board. Here, the chip is ENC KB9026Q. And I have soldered the wire of the ground and 3.3 volt from this connector. And the rest four pins can be found on this uh, keyboard connector. I made this jumper wire here. And then we just need to use the earlink NT to connect here and then plug in. Uh, this needs to go to the KB900 and we can select here. Now uh, we can try to detect, yes we can detect, but if we're trying to read, you can see the read failed. The reason we failed read is because the wire here is quite long, you know, this is why I go here, I'm here and here, and there is a long trace back to here. We cannot use the maximum clock speed. And I found a uh, reliable clock speed would be either 2.25 meg or 4.5 meg. So let's try 2.25 meg and then we can do a read. You can see it's read properly and we can try to verify. So we got reliable read. Now let's speed up for 4.5 meg, see if we can read properly. We also can. Let's go to 9 meg. I think we will fail. Okay, let's go to 18 meg. This will fail. Yeah, fail. So uh, 9 meg seemed to work this time, but I think it's not very reliable. But anyway, we have read this. Now we can save it. So save to as EC backup. And we can try to erase it. Okay, let's erase. Let's see if we erase properly. Okay, now EC backup and we can write it. So let's verify. It's good. So the only thing that need to be uh, aware of when you program the KB chip on the board, make sure you may not be able to use the maximum clock speed. Uh, you may slightly need to slow speed, but it saves you the hassle to desort the chip and push the chip back. So it's quite easy to do this kind of set mod. Uh, if you look at the connection here, is there no soldering? I can just simply remove here and the setup is, is quite easy. And you just need to uh, put the 3.3 volt and the ground in there.